It is nasty. Nasty cold and windy right now. Here we go, first winter backpacking trip of 2021. It is uh, Saturday, January 9th. Starting here at the Nancy Pond Trail and hiking to the bottom of Desolation Trail to set camp about eight miles away. Wake up in the morning. We'll see if we get up early enough for a sunrise at the top of Kerrigan. That means we'd have to climb Desolation in the dark, which could be super sketchy. Yeah. As it's called Desolation Trail for a reason. We'll feel it out, see how it goes. You ready already? You're already ready already. Good morning. It's day number two. Slept nice and warm. Nick tells me he slept nice and warm, so that's good. I always sleep like a rotisserie chicken when I'm in a tent. Sleep for two hours on one side, roll on my back, roll my other side, and continue that all night long. But yeah, stayed warm, slept pretty well. It's about 15 degrees. It's nice and chilly out. Wind is very calm, which is a huge plus. We're camped here at the bottom of Desolation Trail and uh, just trying to get motivated to pack up and uh, head up to the summit of Mount Kerrigan. 
hopefully we get some really great views up there and it's not all socked in but uh desolation trail is pretty much a boulder scramble the whole way so that should be interesting we'll have to take our time and be real careful but I'm gonna break down camp and get moving here we go Well, here we go, starting our ascent up Desolation Trail. Also breaking trail. Snow's not real deep, so it's not too bad. See how it is when we get up higher. Nick, how you feeling, buddy? The parts are good. This could get a little dicey, so we'll see what happens. Slow and steady. Got some pretty big moose tracks here. I don't think they're super fresh, but Broke a little bit of the trail for us. <laughs> Let's see, that's it's definitely bigger than my fist. Snow is getting significantly deeper as we make our ascent naturally. So it's slowing us down a lot more and it's becoming increasingly difficult. <laughs> Whew breaking trail the whole way so it's kind of cool that no one's been here but breaking trail is exhausting especially going up a thousand feet per mile on this particular trail slow and steady it's absolutely beautiful out here though it's like hiking through Narnia oh got a nice view of Mount Washington off to my left here through the trees man incredible I can tell you one thing the view at the top of Kerrigan on top of this watchtower is gonna be something special man I am really excited for that Woo! big hole oh boy okay Beautiful and exhausting. You will earn it. Well worth it though. Whew. Look out. You can't tell how steep this grade is on camera. I know that, but whew. trust me when I tell you, it is steep. <laughs> yeah, man. Isn't it, Nick? Woo! All but vertical in certain spots. And that right there, friends, has been pretty much this ascent up. <laughs> you loving every minute of it? Every minute. All right. <sighs> We're about 400 more feet to go, and it is a long 400 feet. Oh. 
made it. So pumped to be here right now. I feel grateful to be able to do it. I always try to keep a mindset when I'm out here of, you know, not taking my health or my physical ability for granted to be able to do this kind of stuff. So just feeling pretty euphoric at the moment. All right, we made it back to the Jeep. Epic winter trip. Thoughts, Nick? Don't go up Desolation Trail in the winter <laughs> with a foot of snow. Breaking trail. That was brutal. It was brutal. We met two very kind locals who uh, do a lot of hiking around here. And uh, we ended up hiking all the way down Kerrigan with them. Um, and they were nice enough to give us a, dry, a ride back to our car. So we didn't have to road walk for two or three miles, which is great when you're smoked. Thanks, Ed. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. Good people. I'm Suzanne. Now we're going to go get some burgers and beers. Time for some burgers and beers. See you guys on the next one.